Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today where I do a whole bunch of unboxings. Today we are going to be unboxing an Ipsy mystery bag. So this is a limited edition Ipsy where they will create a special bag and then they have five sample size products inside of the bag. Now this is still available as of the timing of this video so I will post a link down below for you guys. This bag retailed for $14. However, there was a $2 handling fee on this as well and then you have to pay taxes also. So in all honesty, these bags do get to be a little bit expensive. This is why I buy it is that I buy it so you don't have to and you can see what comes inside of them. But my recommendation to everyone looking at buying these is buy it for the bag. That way, if you get great products or not so great products, at least you love the bag. So this Ipsy mystery bag is the pretty in satin bag that we're going to take a look at. It's like a pink satin that I saw online. I was shocked. This shipped out fairly quickly. I ordered it right away and I had it, I think in less than two weeks even. I mean, it was way faster than usual. So let's go ahead and dive in and check it out and see what we have today. <laughs> So I am going to share a couple facts from the website on this bag here, just so we kind of know what to expect. So this one has a retail value of $74.01 worth of products inside of it. It says it's a silky pink bag with five sample size products. The brands we can expect are Sugar Cosmetics, Gold Fade NMD, and SL Miss Glam in here as well. So $74 for this bag, that seems about usual for Ipsy whenever they create these, but We'll see whether or not that's in here. So for our pretty in satin, this is our pink satin bag. So this one looks much better than the other one I just opened up. If you guys have not seen it, I will have that video posted for you guys, but it's their, oh, it was the other, it's a larger full size satin bag. I forget what it's called now, but that one didn't go so well because I just very dislike that bag. Now, what I will say about this, is satin shows everything. So there are some creases and damage where something caught it and like tugged it. You know when like a corner of plastic will catch fabric and it will snag and tug? You can see that on here. There's a spot here, there's one here. It's definitely been snagged by a couple things along its journey. It just, satin's one of those fabrics that you're gonna see all of the work and not the work done on it but I do think it's a pretty pink. I do like that we've got this blush zipper on here as well, and then you've got the Ipsy side. It it looks exactly like the photos. It is not my favorite Ipsy bag though, only because it's a little plain. It looks a little boring, but I do think it's a nice blush color. I do think if this was more wedding-esque, like if you wanted to give a gift to your girlfriends, but also at the same hand, it's got some damage, so maybe you wouldn't want to gift them this. I don't know. It's just an okay bag to me. So let's start with our products then. So the first thing that I have are some masks. It looks like they're rolled up in here. So I have two masks from the same company. So it's E Nature. The first one is a restoring sheet mask. So we have one facial mask inside of this. And then the second item that I have is a watery sheet mask and it's supposed to be a moisturizing one. I'm not familiar with these brands at all. It does say that they're from Korea and the expiration date on these is 2024. You know, sometimes I wonder, since I've never seen these before with Ipsy, I almost wonder if brands send these products to Ipsy and say, hey, feature our products in your bags. And Ipsy looks at them and goes, and eh, we're not interested. We'll just throw them over here and save them for a limited edition bag. I don't know, but I'm just curious if that's what they do. Next item that I have is, oh my gosh. Oh, I hate this thing. I, I said hate. I know. I try not to use hate at all with anything except maybe avocados because I really hate avocados as well. But I hate this thing. This is from Glow on Fifth Beauty and it's the Rose Gua Sha, I think is how you pronounce it. It's the facial massager. We had this a couple of years ago in the Ipsy bags and it's plastic. It's the worst facial tool ever because it's a piece of plastic that wasn't smooth and they wanted you to use this on your face and to do a massage and it was like no this doesn't work so this is our piece of plastic here it's scratched up it's dirty I mean look at all of this this is just not cool so I 
oh, I don't like this product at all. I'm very unhappy that I'm seeing it again. It was a couple years ago that we had them. And I just remember a lot of people being upset with this too. It wasn't just me. All right, next item that I have is from Goldfade NIMD. So we did receive one of the items that they mentioned online. This is the Solution Vital Boost. It is their daily moisturizer. It has vitamin D and hyaluronic acid in it. So this is 15 mil or 0.5 ounces. It is a cruelty-free brand. So this moisturizer is going to give you moisture all throughout the day. And I do like that it's got hyaluronic acid in it because that's also like a plumper and it works on wrinkles. So that's also an added benefit. Next item that I have... Ooh, now this is really tiny, but it's metal. Like it's got some weight to it. So this is peak. It looks like a dog tag. And in all honesty, it's the same size too. So it's very tiny. This is an I Will Stay long wearing eyeshadow. We have the shade Rust Belt. So we have a single pan of eyeshadow in here. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, I just totally touched it. Ah, okay. So yes, it slides out, but I totally just put my finger already in it. So this is what my shadow looks like. I love the color. It's a really pretty color. It is a large pan, at least for eyeshadow to pick up. So it is really, really pretty. And it looks like it's going to be a deep chocolate brown color. Last item inside of our box then is from Real Her. And this is the Make It Pop Power Wear Blush. So these are in so many of the Ipsy bags, especially this brand, Real Her and Shades by Sean. I feel like I receive them in every one of the limited edition bags. They must have had a lot of the same products left over. So this is what our blush will look like inside. There is a mirror and it's got a little bit of a peach undertone to this. So from a distance, it looks almost like a bronzer, but it's actually got some peach pink vibes in there then. So we got a blush. So that is everything for the Ipsy bag. This is what the inside of the bag will look like just in case if you were curious. It is the same color as the outside of the satin bag. So again, I don't think the bag is terrible, but it's definitely not my favorite. As far as the items go inside of this bag, I greatly dislike this plastic piece. Uh, I mean, it's just... Seriously, it's not cool. I don't like that we received that one again. But outside of that, I love that we have the Gold Faden skincare product because that is a good brand. It is a good moisturizer, so I will definitely use it. I'm not familiar with any of the other masks that we received or even this small pan of eyeshadow, but I kind of like the little metal eyeshadow. I like the color. The packaging is fun. So I don't think, again, this was terrible. It just kind of felt middle of the road. It was just kind of a average bag, average products outside of the plastic thing. So until next time, you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in my next unboxing video. Bye.